Nope. So we're a uh, 4-H group that's doing First Lego League this year. Oh, okay. And every year there's a theme for First Lego League. This one's energy. Yeah. And they have to do some sort of research project and then find an improvement that they can make. Mike, right? Yep. I'm yep. Mike. They're explaining to Mike what, what we're doing and we're supposed to find some sort of improvement. So if Mike can tell us about things that work really well with the bus and other things that don't work quite so well, that, that'd be great. To be honest with you, I, I've been driving them for um, since we first got them. Yep. And all the parades and stuff, and I, I don't really find too much wrong with them. Okay. They, uh, they handle them in the wintertime good, they charge good. Um, the only problem I would have to say is they got like a 120 mile, hour, 120 mile range on them. Okay. So that kind of limits you. With uh, so it sounds like we already have an improvement maybe that well, we can consider making. They have a fix making. for it. They yeah. have space for another battery pack. Okay. Oh. The battery packs are about the size of a Tesla. Oh, wow. the size They're about of four foot wide and about eight feet long. There's enough room for two of them underneath here. Wow. We only have one right now, which limits us to 120 miles. Uh, Our chargers are mounted on poles inside we can plug plug them we got it set up for five buses we have three now and i, I believe we're intending on getting five more next year now um, it's all solar on top so all all our charges are run off of solar power so this is pure electric are there like diesel electric hybrid buses in i mean in my understanding is like the passenger buses are that way this does have a diesel um generator but all that does is heat the bus for heat because oh. you, you it's you can it's too big of an area to heat which is the electricity and the batteries and stuff so and all the batteries are cooled have their own cooling system there's a cooling system for the batteries there's a cooling system for the motor itself and it's just got two separate cooling systems in it at the winter time what type of range decrease do you see in winter as opposed to summer not much not much not much at all you know it, it's minimal and like i say the more braking you're doing the more charge the more charge you're putting back into the batteries yeah that's one thing that's nice about a school bus route is you're tending to start and stop a and lot start. of stopping yeah but if you got a highway we, we had one route last year that, that he, the guy kept taking the highway to get to a stop it was the first stop and, and by the time he got to a stop it it drops 10 percent you know so even on our uh, parade routes when we took highways all day it, it drops a lot but then in the parade it gains a lot back because you're stopping and going Spinning. favorite thing about this bus personally um i like how wide it is and how much space it has inside it's it, you know you, it, you know i'm a bigger guy and, and you got in the bus I, i'm walking down the aisles like this i can just walk right down these ones um i do like to pick up and get up and go it has i was always worried about that that when we got in when we got them that they're just going to you know, take off slow, but now they get up and go. So. Yeah, usually those electric motors, they get pretty good startup. Power. It's, instant. it's instant power. There's there's no lag in it at all. That's not the guys that hold on each wheel. Right. How cool is it, guys?